Hi guys, the video you're about to watch is an old one. I've downloaded it from an old photography channel of mine that is now aimed at consumers, at my customers, rather than at fellow photographers, so it's not really appropriate for it to be there anymore. I was going to delete it, but I had noticed I had quite a number of views, so I thought, and rather than get rid of the content, that's obviously useful to somebody, then I must I should download it and just re-upload it here. Um, so here's the video. Thank you. Hi. So I was contacted today by a fellow photographer, Barry, who wanted to know, is it possible to switch the red and the blue channels within ACDC? This is something that's commonly done when dealing with infrared photography. Barry currently uses the Affinity Photo for this, but would like to try doing it in ACDC. Now, this is not built in ACDC at all. I looked at every feature I possibly could in Ultimate 2019 and I cannot find a way to do this. But thinking outside the box, it did occur to me that it's simply colour mapping and therefore we should be able to do this using a LUT. So I created a LUT in Affinity Photo and have imported that into ACDC. So I thought we'd see if this gives the results that you would expect. And whether this is actually a quicker and faster process for dealing with the images on a longer term basis. So here we have Barry's image in quick view and we'll have to switch over to edit mode. So down at the bottom here where the adjustment layers are you'll see a cube which is where you access colour LUTs. You would, if installing the LUT for the first time you would use the load LUTs button here. But I've already done that so it's already on my list of IR LUT. Infrared, click that and ACDC will load it in. And this is the result. Obviously, because the LUT is loaded as an adjustment layer, you can paint on the layer because it is essentially just a mask. So if you brush black, then you will erase the layer, which I don't know enough about infrared photography to know if this is useful, but I thought it was worth pointing out. And alternatively, if you wanted to apply the LUT to only a small area of the image, you would load the LUT, invert the mask, and then paint in white will reveal the LUT. And obviously if you make a mistake, you can just paint black. Again, I'm not sure if this particular feature is actually useful to anybody. I'm not doing infrared photography myself. I thought it was just worth pointing out about how the adjustment layers in ACDC actually work. So I hope you found that helpful. It's not an ideal solution because you cannot create the LUTs within ACDC, but I'll share the LUT with anybody who wants it.